Hey everyone, the name is Rector, and today we're talking about the 16 phases of the INFP personality type. Okay, so what I want to show you in this video is, as an INFP, you can relate to every single personality type out there. You can understand, you can act like, you can behave like any single personality type. You are not limited in any sense to any type of one limiting constricting set of behaviors you are not forced to always be an infp and to always act like an infp and you will have times when your behavior will change and will act differently and this should not lead to an identity crisis so how does this work how does the mbti actually work actually the mbti is to me not the theory of type but a theory of a type in flow so the MBTI describes who you are when you are the most confident and the most in flow. So when you're an INFP and when INFP is your flow type, INFP is who you are when you feel confident in yourself and in your abilities and in who you are. You have energy, motivation, passion for what you do, and you have belief in yourself and s stability and trust in yourself and in who you are. And that allows you to be fully yourself. Now, the thing is, most people cannot fully be themselves. We live in a society where people are constantly forced to adjust and conform and act differently in order to fit in or to get successful or to do well at their work or to get and to build strong friendships or connections with other people. So that's the conundrum. We are forced to put on different masks and every person has more than 16 masks available to them that they can take on in any different situation and you can act in any way you choose in whatever way you think will get you ahead or whatever thing you think will get you forward in life at this time or this stage of your life so INFPs have 16 phases and in today's video I'm just going to focus on the four most basic ones you can think about. You can talk about INFPs as introverted intuitive feeling perceiving types so when they are the most confident they are INFP like but what about when they are the least confident in themselves? INFPs have ESTJ as their vulnerable self. So INFPs will act like ESTJs when they feel insecure, pushed into the corner, or put into a situation where they are very uncomfortable. That means when INFPs are pushed to this situation, they can become a bit like grizzly bears. They can assert their dominance, they can show strength, and they can be forceful in order to get people to take them seriously and to get off their back. That's one phase of the INFP, the ESTJ is the INFP's vulnerable self. The other part of the INFP is the ISTP, and the ISTP represents the INFP's most static version of themselves what they cling to the most, what they constantly find themselves holding on to, uh, their persona, their mask. And this is uh, the most interesting thing. We see the ISTP side of an INFP as the INFP's persona, how they act at work or in a professional setting in order to avoid building personal relationships or to revealing themselves and their values and their interests and who they are. So ISTP represents a safe persona for an INFP. That can mean acting like an expert or taking the role of a know-it-all or taking the role of a teacher or somebody who speaks about something and looks at something purely critically in order to avoid having to be exposed for your identity and who you are and your values and your interests as an INFP. Finally, the last phase of the INFP we can talk about is the ENFJ phase. The ENFJ phase of the INFP represents the INFP's uh, most inspired version of themselves, the most uh, thrilling, rushing version of the INFP. The INFP in a state of pure joy, explosive joy and passion. When an INFP is truly interested in something, truly cares about something, they can almost act like ENFJs because then they start communicating and talking about it with other people. All that fear of uh, how they will be judged by other people evaporates or cannot be matched up to the passion they feel about the subject. And that's how INFPs feel when they are inspired about something. The problem with having all these different faces and emotions and states is not knowing who your real self is. Which side is the real me? 
And what I ask you to do is understand what confidence is and understand the difference between confidence and vulnerability and understand the difference between uh, just uh, passion and passion that also comes with confidence and strength and power and trust in yourself. A lot of time we can hold on to an idealized version of who we are. We can say, oh, I want to be that person out type and I want to be like that and that must be who I am, right? We might find ourselves thinking, oh, because I'm so unconfident in myself and in who I am, I can't be this person out the type. Or we might feel that uh, because I'm so stuck in this persona role, I can no longer tell the difference between who I really am and what this person out the type is. How can I know what I really want when I am so afraid of being myself? And that is why it's important to study personality psychology in order to truly think about and listen to yourself and what you feel and what you value. All you have to do to find your flow type is feel flow and feel confident and allow yourself to feel confident. And this is a harder thing than what it sounds like because the world tends to sabotage us constantly and we are and we feel constantly judged by other people and the feeling of being judged or feeling sabotaged or feeling hurt or feeling upset or feeling tired or feeling drained by our lifestyle or our situation can make it very hard to be ourselves. So what can you do if you want to develop yourself as an INFP? One thing you can do is you can reach out to me and you can send me a message and you can visit patreon.com slash Eric You can book a coaching session and I'll be happy to help to hear you out, to listen, to see what you feel and what you want and what you care about. And we can just talk about yourself. There's nothing really more interesting than that, right? Other things you can do is you can explore my material at ericthor.com or on my YouTube channel and you can also follow my podcasts that I will be releasing on my Patreon channel where we talk about these things. And we can have a discussion together, join a community, talk to other INFPs, talk to other personality types and learn about how they feel and how they are. That's all I had to say in today's video. Thanks everyone for watching and see you all in the next video.